Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this example, we are going to look at a J-Combo box and item dictionary event. So here you will learn J-Combo box component. Then we will see how we can add item using the add item method. Then when user clicks any of these item, we use item listener and item event to show which item is selected and which item is deselected in these two text boxes. So that means we will use item listener, item event and get state change and get selected item. So if you see here, this one is the normal uh, combo box. In normal combo box, uh, you cannot edit the item. This means uh, first we need to understand the combo box part. So this is the text part in the combo box and this is the list part. So when user clicks this uh, uh, down arrow key, it will open the list and from that list user can pick uh, one item and that item will be shown in the text part. In the editable version of the combo box, you can pick item from the list and at the same time you can edit something. If you see here in the previous combo box, we have five item, but here since this five item doesn't suit our need, we manually type the one item in the edit. So this is editable version. In normal version, uh, you cannot edit anything, so you can only pick what is there in the combo box. So you can construct the JCombo box with an empty constructor. After constructing the combo box, you can add the items using add item method. So the add item method can be called multiple time to add multiple items to the combo box. So once the combo box is ready, you can hand over it to the content pan. Then content pan will take care of displaying the J combo box along with the added items to it. So we saw two version of the combo box, right? So if you want to set the editable version, then you can make a call to set editable. And you can pass a boolean here, true or false. So if you pass true, the, the J combo box will be displayed as a editable uh, combo box. That means the edit portion of the text, you can type your own text. Um, if the list doesn't contain what you want, then you can type the text in the text box part of the jcombo box. The jcombo box will raise an event. So it will raise an item event. And to receive this event, your combo box should um, given to the item listener. So once the jcombo box is registered with the item listener using add item listener, then the uh, listener will get this uh, item event. So the item listener contains a method called item state changed and that will receive this uh, item event. So in the item event, you can actually make a call to So this kit state changed will return a constant and you can compare that constant, I mean an integer and you can compare that integer with a constant to know whether the particular item is selected or not. So when we go to the Eclipse demo that you, the time you will uh, see how we are using this uh, get state changed to report whether an item is selected or not. So here is the quick review. First, you, we will construct the J combo box. 
after that we will use add item to add the items to the jcombo box once that is done we will hand over this uh, jcombo box to content pan finally we will register the event using add item listener then we will implement item state changed and inside the type inside this item state changed we will use the item event and the method it offers to decide whether a particular combo box item is selected or not this will be used inside the body of this item state changed so that's all here in this video we will continue with the second part and in that we will discuss about the example that we are going to create in part 3 thank you for watching bye